A new record 41 percent for defense and security. The draft state budget of the Russian Federation for 2025 is the most militarized since the collapse of the Soviet Union. It envisages 13 and a half trillion rubles for military expenditures, which is more than 6 percent of GDP. Another 3.5 trillion rubles will be allocated to national security, including for the fight with dissent within the Federation itself. All of these measures won't make any differences considering the current inflation, so there is no no chance of winning the war with such resources. The share of financing of so-called secret expenditures also broke the record. In 2025, the government is going to spend more than 13 trillion rubles on it. Experts assume that the part of these funds will be used to continue Russia's war against Ukraine. All this does not appear at the snap of fingers or by signing a draft budget. They will find money. There is no problem with that. If they need 40 trillions, they will draw it up. But there is no way they can buy a tank for that money. Accordingly, the effort required to get a tank grew exponentially. These efforts also take away already deficient resources. Uh, there are not only human resources, but also from uh, the economy and civilian sector. Accordingly, if your metallurgical plant used to produce special steels, roofing iron, billets for pots and so on, now, for the most part, it produces special steels that are needed for tank armor, vehicles and everything else. Maxim Blunt, economic observer, in a comment for Radio Liberty. Teachers, medical workers, utility workers and pensioners will have a tough time next year. Before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by the Russian army, the expenditures on social policy were the largest. But now Russians who are not involved in the military sector sector cannot expect an increase in salaries and social benefits. At the same time, the Kremlin has not forgotten about its own well-being. Russian taxpayers will spend almost 31 billion rubles on Putin and his administration in 2025, which is 25 percent more than in 2024. The payroll of the presidential administration, which employs 1.5 to 2 thousand people, will increase from 18 to 21 billion rubles in 2025, spending on the purchase of goods and services to serve the president and the Kremlin will also increase. The draft three-year budget suggests that in 2026, spending on the maintenance of the president and his administration will be slightly reduced to 30.8 billion rubles. But in 2027, it will increase again to 31.7 billion rubles. From Medusa publication. Experts are convinced that the effectiveness of every ruble spent on the war against Ukraine is decreasing. The Kremlin has backed itself into a blind corner in conditions of a shortage of personnel, rising inflation and an overheated economy. Increased defense spendings will not provide Russia with any significant benefits. What is happening in Russia now is very much reminiscent of the last decades of the Soviet Union, when insane amounts of money were spent on the military-industrial complex while consumer goods and foodstuffs were in very serious short supply. That's what Russian economy is like today. At the same time, the Russian authorities continue to pretend that everything is good. The budget for 2025 includes an article on state loans to other countries, almost 1 trillion 600 billion rubles. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Larisa Patruk, UATV News.